Hi, this is Keisha. I am finishing my distache that I got from Dana, uh, one of the uh, people that is also part of the Candles Anonymous group. Great group to join if you're interested in getting and hearing about deals, new companies, great uh, just variety of things. Uh, again, that's Candles Anonymous. Um, great, great group to join on Facebook. So I ended off with Lene's Wax Creations. Again, I am going to be posting all of the website links on the bottom of these videos so that you guys can reference them and check them out um, if you're interested in purchasing from them. The next company that I'm going to hit, and I actually only have um, this one company and then I got a bunch of unknowns. So I probably could have finished it in my previous video. Sorry about that. Um, so this next company is Sea Breeze Scents and Things. Um, these ones were all shapes uh, that I received. They're all smaller shapes. Uh, I got four different uh, ones. I did find the website for purchasing, but they did not have scent descriptions. So um, it's going to be based off my nose again. Uh, so the first one that I'm going to hit is actually Cupcake. Um, this one is in just regular uh, tart, uh, pretty typical tart. Um, but that one is, uh, you know, it really smells like the bakery coming out of your oven when you just make cupcakes. Not so much the vanilla on the top, but really the cupcake itself. So I really kind of like that one. Uh, the next one that I have here is Fruit Loops. This one is a small star, as you can see right here. Um, this one, again, very fruity. Um, doesn't remind me of Fruit Loops the cereal. It's actually more fruity real fruit as opposed to the artificial fruit uh, in Fruit Loops. Um, the next one that I have is Moonlit Path. This one is yellow as well, and it's that tart shape. Um, I really like this one. It's uh, more of like a perfumey smell, so I kind of really like it. Again, no scent description, so I'm just giving you what my nose is picking up. And I've sniffed a lot of candles in the last half hour. Um, and then the last one that I have from Sea Breeze Scents and Things is Twilight. I got a pretty thick heart with that one. And I really like that one too. This one again um, is actually a more manly smell. So I really kind of uh, masculine, I should say, smell. Um, but I do really, really like that scent. It's very nice. <clears throat> And then the uh, last things that I received from Dana in her distache that I received is um, a bunch of different things. I have absolutely no scent descriptions. I don't know where they fr they're from. So if you see them and you recognize them, let me know because I'm very interested um, as I don't know. The first thing I'm going to hit is actually a pie slice that I got. It's actually a really big um, slice. It's got like what looks like Hershey Kisses like candle Hershey kisses on the top. It's got like different layers in it. I have absolutely no scent description. I honestly have not opened it yet because um, I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to get it in the same way as they have it. Um, but it's a really cute pie. Um, I'm hoping it's not really vanilla-y uh, so that I can keep it, enjoy it at home. Uh, the next thing that I got is a cupcake. Again, no description, no label on it. Um, <clears throat> that's one thing that I would suggest for every company out there is make sure that you um, have the labels on your bags and stuff. Um, I know that with a distache, it could very well be that it's rebagged, and that's why um, there's nothing on there. But in this case, I don't know that that was the situation um, because, as you can see, it's kind of cutely put together. It doesn't look like it's ever been touched. Um, I don't know what scent it is. I don't know what company it's from, but it's a really cute little cupcake with what looks like like frosting on top. Um, so there's that. Uh, the other thing that I would suggest for those companies that are out there is when you do put the labels on them, um, if you could just put one label that has the company name as well as the scent, then you're not trying to have to fumble around with two if you were to rebag them. Um, the next thing I've got is um, the scent of pumpkin apple butter. I have no idea again where they came from. Um, I don't know if this one again was rebagged or, or what, uh, but it is definitely got that pumpkin and butter scent to it. Um, I think that'll be a nice add-in to some of the other ones that I've gotten. Um, I got two things of brittle. Uh, this first one is maple mallows. I got uh, what looks like three pieces. Um, the next one I got is cotton candy. And I got one big one you can see here and then a little one in the back uh, right here. So um, those will be fun to mix in as well. The next one that I got is lemon poppy seed 
wax melt. Um, so right here is what it looks like. Again, I don't know that this one was rebagged. Um, it looks again like it was something that was received this way. It's this, uh, you know, really big. It looks like an Easter egg um, type mold. Um, it smells exactly like lemon poppy seeds. I'm pretty excited about breaking off pieces of this and and melting it moving forward. And then I ended up getting um, four shots. Excuse me. Um, again, I don't know any of these, like this one just says sweet treats on it, uh, but I don't know where it's from. I really like this one though. It's really super sweet and strawberry almost. I really like the strawberry in it. That's definitely what's in there. Um, the next one that I got has absolutely no label on it. It is uh, a really, really dark purple. Probably can't see that because of the sun right now. Um, but it is, uh, more of a perfume smell as well. So we'll see how that one burns. Um, the next one that I have is a white color. Again, absolutely no label, no what the smell is or where it's from. And this one has a very distinct smell and I cannot think of the name of it right now. Oh man, that's going to bug me. <clears throat> if I figure it out, I will definitely let you know in the notes below. I'm going to think of it like sometime on Sunday when I should be paying attention to something else. But um, the next one that and the last one that I have is Key Lime Pie. This one smells exactly like Key Lime Pie. Like there's no question that that's what's in this container. It's a very pretty light green color. I'm all about the colors. I don't know why. I think it's just fun when they melt or if you put multiple in a in a container as they start to melt and blend together. It's just fun. Um, but yeah, this one again is Key Lime Pie. Uh, that is everything that I got from the Destache. Um, Dana, I just want to say thank you. It was really fun seeing what I got and then looking up the scents and um, going through and smelling them all. Sorry it took me so long to get through all of them, uh, but it was 10 pounds of wax. Uh, I do plan on, uh, I believe, receiving um, Sweet Fixations order, I want to say tomorrow, and then I think I have another one too coming tomorrow, and I don't remember which brand it is. I did a lot of ordering in the last couple weeks, so uh, they're all kind of trickling in as the weeks go on, but I will definitely post uh, my feedback on that, and please comment below. Um, let me know what you think. I apologize that the first one was so long and this one was not. Um, I should have just smushed them all together or broke it up a little bit better. So again, I apologize in advance for that, and um, let me know what you think. Thank you. Thank you.